Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever, a man has been arrested in the United States and charged with fraudulent conspiracy, and his co-conspirator is artificial intelligence. The question is, how is this even possible? But when you really think about it, AI is the new craze. It seamlessly adds massive amounts of value to our everyday lives, and we haven't even begun to realize the full potential of AI. But if AI has massive potential for good, then it can also be utilized significantly for evil. AI is like the force, it has a dark side. And so the world's first AI supervillain is a musician from North Carolina called Michael Smith. And he's been charged with orchestrating a $10 million music streaming fraud conspiracy using AI generated songs and bots. So you should know what an AI generated song is, but bossing is a little bit more sinister and it's been around for over a decade and it's been a serious problem for every major content platform. And this is basically where people create a whole bunch of fake accounts and they use that to artificially inflate their follow accounts, sub counts, view counts, and in this case, it's music streams. So the Department of Justice has done a great job of summarizing this whole case. So allow me to use their words to paint the full picture for you. By the way, subscribe please, because I need more subscribers. From approximately 2017 up to and including 2024, Michael Smith, the defendant, orchestrated a scheme to steal millions of dollars of music royalties by fraudulently inflating music streams on digital streaming platforms, the streaming platforms, such as Amazon Music, Apple Music, Spotify, and YouTube Music. Smith purchased from a co-conspirator hundreds of thousands of songs that were created through artificial intelligence, AI, and then uploaded to streaming platforms. Smith then used bots, automated programs to steal the AI generated songs billions of times. At the height of his fraudulent scheme, Smith used over a thousand bot accounts simultaneously to artificially boost streams of his music across the streaming platforms. By manipulating the streaming data in this manner, Smith fraudulently obtained more than $10 million in royalty payments to which he was not entitled. Oof. This just has massive implications. You've got the misuse of AI, the misuse of bossing, and then when you combine them together simultaneously, it just creates an even bigger problem. I think there's something that a lot of people don't realize, or at least people take for granted, is the fact that AI has been prevalent in many forms of content for a very, very long time. Like, take the music industry, for example. Like, a lot of music production software, studio engineering has been transformed by the use of artificial intelligence. If you look at some of the biggest music artists, like T-Pain, for example, the majority of his catalog is basically underscored by the fact that he's been using autotune. There's a very rich history of the use of autotune in music production, and it is based on artificial intelligence. It uses AI to essentially enhance the pitch and the tone of your voice to make you sound better. And it's artificial intelligence that basically allowed us to accomplish that in music. I feel like more recently, the result of the evolution of that has been made more apparent with so a good example of that would be drake he released a diss track against kendrick lamar but the diss track only really had drake using his own vocals but it also had tupac and snoop dogg but tupac and snoop dogg weren't involved in the making of the song there was a video of Tupac that woke up at like 3 a.m. in the morning to his phone getting blown up because he was on a diss track with Drake. And he's like, I have nothing to do with this. But with AI, you can completely make a brand new song with a whole bunch of artists as this massive collaboration. And none of them have to be involved in that. AI can completely recreate their voices and produce a song and put a beat and a melody and make it perfect and unique, and you don't need any human input at all whatsoever. Let me give you another example. This is something that completely blows me away. So check this out. It's this concept of AI influencers, right? Like this is completely generated by AI. None of this is real. All of this is completely fabricated, but for some reason, there's 2.5 million followers. And I would go as far as to say that these of these 2.5 million followers, <laughs> it's very likely that a lot of them are bots too. You know, this is just the collaboration of these two things coming together and causing this problem, this issue, because it's not real. But this is where it gets even crazier, okay? Because at least with this, you can look at it and tell that it's not real. This is, you know, pretty much computer generated. But look at this. I mean, my goodness. 
this is completely AI, but you could have fooled me. Genuinely speaking, there are a lot of people that would look at this and think this is a real person. Like, this is actually crazy. So regarding the decade-long plague of bossing, and let's be honest, it's been for longer than a decade. I think for as long as I can remember, there have always been individuals who have taken it upon themselves to completely skirt and ignore the ideas of common decency and rules. And they've just straight up bossed their view accounts, their follow accounts, their subscriber accounts. And I'm sure that for a long time or as long as music streaming has existed, there have been individuals that have been bossing their streams for their songs. I mean, there's literal rappers that call out other rappers for bossing their streams or faking streams on music streaming platforms. And I know for a fact that there are dozens of individuals on live streaming platforms that have been bossing their view accounts for a long, long time. But the problem is, is that now that individuals are being charged with bossing as an individual, that has significant implications for everybody else who's been bossing. Because if you put somebody in jail for bossing, and fraudulently gaining a return for their bossing, then that sets a significant precedent that should be applied to everybody else who has bossed and gained a return from doing that because there are so many people that have done that. I mean, really, that means that a lot of rappers should be going to jail, a lot of musicians should be going to jail, streamers should be going to jail for bossing because this is something that a lot of people have been doing and that's a fact. And I feel like beyond that, and this is just speculative because obviously I don't have any evidence for this, but if you think about how easy it is to bot, right? And the benefits that come from bossing, wouldn't it make sense that larger corporations, music labels, record labels would bot streams of their artists to get them into the limelight? And then at some point when they finally made it past that threshold, then they just stop bossing and let everything go naturally and normally. But I think that if individuals are tempted into bossing, then why wouldn't corporations that have so much more to gain also do the same thing? So the question is, who is next on this list to get prosecuted for this? Because this is a serious issue that has happened, is happening, and probably will continue to happen. Look, I can't overstate this enough. This is insane. Just imagine the possibilities of creating an undetectable content product using AI and then popularizing it using bots and in the process making millions of dollars for nearly a decade. Like, that's insane. Like, I might not even be real. I could be AI generated and you might not be real. You might just be a bot. And that's the bigger picture.